Hello guys, it's me Ashok Allah, your friend. Uh, I hope all of you are fine. As you can see on the whiteboard that we have drawn the, the diagram of the uh, human circulatory system. So in these lectures uh, we have started new series. So in this series I will be discussing about the human circulatory system. Inshallah we will discuss about the uh, each component of the human circulatory system inshallah in detail. So first of all we have to know about uh, circulatory system that what is this and what is its rule in our body, right? These two points are the most important. The first point we will clear in this diagram that this whole diagram represents our circulatory system. It is not the actual diagram because many complicated system, it is a very complicated system. We have drawn a very simple diagram to show you the, uh, the flow of blood, the, where the oxygenation of blood occurs and what is the most important part that is heart, the pumping organ of this system. So let's see what I have shown in this diagram. First of all, I will uh, clear all of you about this diagram. Then we will define this system and then we will uh, tell you some functions of this system, right? So friends, as you can see that in the center of this system, it is a pumping organ and let's label it. And this is our heart or it is also known as cardia, right? So this is heart and as we all know that our heart has four chambers. These two are the right chambers and the left chambers, right? The right chambers are upper chamber and lower chamber and the left chambers are also upper and lower, right? You can see these colors that I have used, this blue color all over, everywhere where you see this blue color, this blue color friends represent deoxygenated blood, deoxygenated blood. It means this blood must contain CO2, carbon dioxide blood, right? And in this red color, wherever you see the red color, this red color represents oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood, right? So oxygenated means that this blood contains oxygen, O2, pure blood, right? Okay, then if this is our heart, right, these, this is deoxygenated blood and the red color shows oxygenated blood so our deoxygenated blood is present in our veins veins right and uh, oxygenated blood is present in the arteries arteries except here is an exception which contains uh, uh, here also it is an artery but still it contains uh, deoxygenated blood so it is an exception we will discuss it later so our veins generally our veins contain deoxygenated blood and generally our arteries contain oxygenated blood right so this area represents the area for exchange of different materials so this area comprises of capillaries capillaries right these are also capillaries capillaries look here capillaries Right, this area represents our lower body, lower body, right, and this area presents upper body, upper body, clear, okay, so this area presents upper body, so here oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, this area is the lower body, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, and these capillaries are the areas for the exchange of now, pure and impure substances, right? Nutrients for the exchange of different nutritions. And we can say these capillaries are present in tissues. Clear? And tissues. Okay, let's come to this point. What is this? This is, friends, our right lung, right pleura, right? And this is our left pleura or lung, clear, okay, what happens here, 
here the deoxygenated blood comes right the deoxygenated blood comes and it is oxygenated back so let me show you in an arrow that here the blood comes right and from here the blood goes back which blood goes back oxygenated blood goes back clear then i will show you the flow of the blood inshallah uh, after a bit uh, we will discuss about the flow of the blood so friends this is our circulatory system in the circulatory system the organs which are the most important what are those so friends we have veins we have arteries we have capillaries and the most important heart and also we can see the lungs are also coming in case of in in, uh, in our circulatory system which are the part of this right why because here the oxygenation of the blood occurs and the carbon dioxide is removed and oxygen is provided to the blood so lungs are can also be the part of the uh, part of this system okay so i have just mentioned some important points about this system now let us define this system what is circulatory system circulatory system i am defining this system friends this is also known as also known as cardio vascular system why it is known as cardiovascular system the first thing and why it is known as circulatory system so let's clear this point circulatory system it is called circulatory system because it circulates different substances in our body right it's very easy circulate okay so why it is known as circulatory system because it circulates different nutrients uh, I would simply say that it circulates the tissue of life in our body, right? That's why it is called circulatory system. And why it is called cardiovascular system? It is uh, called cardiovascular system because cardia means heart, clear? And vascular means vessels vessels so you know better that how many types of vessels are there in the diagram you can say veins are there arteries are there right and capillaries are there okay so what why it is called cardiovascular system because it is a system which comprises of heart and vessels we can say heart, veins, arteries and capillaries. That's why it is called as cardio, yes, referred to as heart and vascular means all those vessels which are the part of this system. So let me define this system. What is cardiovascular system? Let us define it. It is a system which circulates, I am defining it in a very easy way, a system which circulates what the tissue of life the tissue of life in our body wow what is this what is meant by tissue of life as you can see the blood is a tissue blood is a connective tissue so from tissue of life we mean blood not only blood but many other components also which are circulating in this system and those components are the nutrition or the gases and other waste substances so these substances also circulate in this system and in, in, in this system of uh, heart and blood vessels so that's why we say that the system uh, what is circulatory system? A system which circulates the tissue of life in our body is called the circulatory system. So why it is called, what is tissue of life? We said, we said earlier that is blood. Why blood is called tissue of life? Because blood is responsible for keeping us alive, right? So in the circulatory system, the tissue of life is circulating. Other definition, 
which I would want to uh, share with you that is a system in our body which keeps our tissues and cells moist right this system is called the circulatory system or cardiovascular system our tissues must be kept moist by moist i mean that our tissues and cells must contain uh, normal amount of fluids normal amount of nutrition normal amount of uh, uh, waste substances should be drawn from them so our cells and tissues should be moist and to keep the tissues and cells moist it is the function of which system it is the function of cardiovascular system right let's explain or let's define uh, the, the system in another way also that is a system in our body which comprises of which comprises of what which comprises of heart blood vessels and blood which comprises of heart blood vessels and blood this system is called the cardiovascular system you all know that in this system we have heart we have blood vessels and in these blood vessels and heart what is floating what is circulating that is blood so the system which comprises of heart blood vessels and uh, blood this system in our body is called the cardiovascular system and I hope uh, you got uh, uh, the most important points regarding these definitions so friends uh, next we are going to say something about the functions of this system that uh, re that not only uh, the circulation of the tissue of life occurs in this system not only it keeps our tissues moist it performs many other functions and what are those functions let us uh, know about the functions of the system which the system performs in our body is the first function is it pumps the blood it pumps blood right as we know whenever the blood comes to the heart so the heart contracts and pumps the blood to the upper and lower parts of the body right so this system is responsible for pumping the blood this system is responsible for supply of blood supply of blood to all body parts the system is responsible to supply the blood to all parts of the body to keep the tissues and cell moist right the next important function that this system performs is that the system is responsible to provide to provide nutrition isn't it yes our tissues and cells need nutrition our tissues and cells needs oxygen they need vitamins they need proteins they need uh, many other components right so all these components are provided by the which system by cardiovascular system next important function the system which collects waste substances okay for example if this is a tissue and in this tissue there are similar resp respiratory reactions goes on and those respiratory reactions make waste substances and those waste substances should not be kept in those tissues why because they are dangerous so which system is responsible for drawing the uh, waste substances the system is the cardiovascular system so the, this system is also responsible for collection of waste substances next important function is that this system circulates or carries it also carries gases it also carries gases as we know oxygen circulates in the blood carbon dioxide in the blood other gases right so these gases also uh, this system is responsible for carrying the gases also clear next important function that this system performs is that it provides nutrition from where does it takes the nutri nutrients it takes the nutrients from the GIT right so it is responsible for absorbing nutrients it is responsible for absorbing 
nutrients how whenever we eat something it goes to our GIT and from our GIT the food substances are absorbed by our blood clear so whenever the blood absorb the food substances and these substances are carried to the required tissues okay so it is also responsible for absorption of nutrients next important function which this system performs in our body as this system is responsible for healing of wounds how healing of wounds friends if here in my hand an injury occurs so this injury must not propagate it should be cured it should be diminished why because it will create more problems so how our body manages to cure this injury look this injured tissue needs more food it needs more oxygen it needs more fluids it needs more blood cells right immune cells so all these cells and nutrition and gases and everything is carried by which system cardiovascular system so whenever there is an injury that injured area requires more of these substances so if it requires more of these substances the circulatory system response is responsible for carrying these substances to that area for what to heal that wound right so healing of wounds right healing of wounds is also uh, is also uh, carried or done by the cardiovascular system next important thing that our cardiovascular system uh, performs uh, that is it provides immunity it provides immunity as we know that we have immune cells immune cells and these are WBCs and WBCs are where they are floating in the blood they are circulating in these in this system so <clears throat> whenever <clears throat> in any tissue in any tissue immunity is needed so these cells provide immunity and these cells are part of the cardiovascular system so cardiovascular system is responsible for providing us immunity the next function and the important function that is this system keeps us alive this system keeps us alive how friends any tissue or cell if it wants to be alive it needs nutrition it needs oxygen it needs blood it needs fluids and all these substances are provided by the cardiovascular system so our body needs all these substances and these substances are provided by cardiovascular system so if we get if we get more amount of these substances we will be alive or the tissues or organs will be alive right so next function this is this system is responsible for prevention of shock so this system prevents shock what is meant by shock Sh look carefully whenever our brain tissue does not receive much amount of uh, nutrition much amount of oxygen so our brain tissue uh, leaves its function right so then we say that there is shock okay so this system is responsible for providing nutrition to the brain to the nervous tissue and if our nervous tissue receives much amount of required amount of uh, nutrition so it will not go into the shock right so this system is also responsible for prevention of shock this system also prevents shock the next uh, important function that this system performs is that uh, <coughs> this system keeps tissues moist right in order to keep our tissues alive they should be moist so which system is responsible to keep the tissues moist here we here we have written so which is the system this is cardiovascular system friends these were some functions regarding the cardiovascular system which i told you okay in this video we just uh, uh, define the cardiovascular system and we uh, told you some functions which the system uh, performs in our body so inshallah in the next lecture i will be discussing about the first part and uh, the first and the important part of the system which is heart so be with us 
and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.